Croydon. It doesn't matter about the reputation it has. It's always going to be home for me. I've got so many beautiful memories here, but it wasn't always that easy. I guess we stuck out as a family. This German woman being with a man from St. Lucia. I was aware of all the limitations for people like me who grew up here. Nothing's ever going to be handed to you. It wasn't obvious to anyone that I would go on to study Latin and ancient Greek, especially not at Cambridge. I love what words can do, how they can make you feel. They open up new emotional worlds that lets you tell more stories. To go from that degree into music felt like another little act of rebellion. I always felt the culture clash of my family growing up. It influenced my sound. I've never really fit any genre. It helped me forge a sense of boundary pushing and expectation breaking in my music. Music's always been my outlet for creative expression, but saying I wanted to be a singer was like saying I wanted to be an astronaut. It felt unattainable. It was something I'd whisper but never say out loud. It's only now I realised that saying things out loud is half the way to achieving them. The beautiful thing about music is the collaboration. From working closely with artists like Sigma, flying out to Vienna to make music with Falou, and even finding a community of writers in Berlin. I can look back at the difference between now and my early days trekking back and forth from studios in London. Overnight to onlookers is 10 years of graft and reality. You go through these mad intense periods like Fashion Week, performing in arenas and on TV to hundreds of thousands of people. I remember how much my head spun when I got asked by Virgil Abloh to walk in the Louis Vuitton show because he liked my music. That's why I work out, train in the park and do mindfulness. I've always been surrounded by great people that have only ever supported me. Looking back, I know I made the right decision following my heart with music. Making music isn't just what I do, it's what I have to do. Those unreachable dreams feel closer now than ever before. When I look back at the journey so far, I'm filled with pride for how far I've come. Nowhere near finished. This is only the beginning. I'm still speaking that dream into existence.